What's up everybody, it's Chris with Dealcasters and today we're gonna talk about Roku's ultimate streaming player. This is the Roku Ultra 4K and this is their fastest one that they've got. A lot of people are kind of wondering about, you know, which Roku do I get? Do I get the stick? Do I get the Ultra? Ladies and gentlemen, this thing we're extremely, um, extremely excited about. It is not a stick. It is, it, you see what you get here. We're gonna uh, go through the functions and do a full setup uh, for you to see why uh, this is uh, the ultimate. First and foremost, uh, there's not a ton in the box. You are getting a premium HD MI cable. Premium, it even comes with a nice little Velcro thing that holds it together. Hmm, that's pretty nice there, uh, Roku. Uh, of course, you're gonna get your Roku remote. Uh, pro tip, don't put your batteries in yet. Put your batteries in after you plug in the unit and we'll show you why here in the next few seconds on this video. Let me, sh let me walk you through what's here on the back. You're gonna have uh, a USB uh, input. You're gonna have an H your HDMI cable input. This is your ethernet. So you can plug directly wired into your internet, which is a nice touch. That's gonna, that's gonna make things a lot better, a lot cleaner, especially when you're piping in the 4K and this is your power. Just keep in mind, unlike these sticks, the Roku Ultra requires a actual power adapter. So you're not gonna be able to plug it in like you would typically um, on a TV. Sometimes you can plug it into an available USB for power. You're gonna need to do this for power. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and get this uh, in a full setup. So obviously the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to plug in the power and I'm gonna plug it in right now. Now we're plugged in. Next move that we're gonna make is we are going to plug the HDMI cable into the, H the available HDMI port on your 4K television. So I've got it right here into my TV and I'm plugging the other end into the ultimate Roku uh, player. By the way, this thing right here, find your remote. Okay, your remote will never be lost. You're gonna hit this and it's gonna find the remote for you. I can't wait for that. I'm gonna show that how that works too, uh, just because I'm excited. So you can see it's already, it's powering on and this is flashing. It's probably looking for what you're gonna to need to install is the Roku app on your phone. So make sure you do that. It's gonna help you out anyway and it's really a really cool app. It kind of tells you what's going on and it'll connect and you can do all kinds of stuff from here as well as uh, here on your remote. The remote, um, this also, you're gonna do, you're gonna be able to incorporate voice activation. If you've got Alexa, if you've got Siri, if you've got uh, Google, you can use any of those uh, uh, in cooperation with this. The other cool thing is, it comes with headphones that you can plug into here and you have your own personal way of listening. So if somebody, if you don't want it to be loud, maybe you're in a place where you don't want noise out, somebody's sleeping, whatever, you could do this and listen to it privately, which is very, very cool as well. So, all right, here we go. We've got this turned around and got this plugged in. Uh, first thing you wanna do, and like I said, don't put your batteries in yet because you first need to pair your remote. So that's what we're gonna do here right now. You're gonna wanna put your batteries in and once you get them in, you're gonna see a button right here um, you see this flashing. You want to hold this button right here for five seconds. It's pairing the remote. There we go. You hold it. Let's get started. It's paired. Beautiful. Uh, we are go currently going to connect wirelessly, but like I said, on the back, there is an ethernet for you to go wired. And if you wanted to do that, you would go to the wired section, but I'm going to go to wireless and I'm going to set up a new connection uh, right here. And I'm gonna, this is where you connect to your own Wi-Fi. So I'm covering up the screen so that you can't see my passwords. Hit connect. Found the wireless connection, internet connection. That was quick. Now your Roku will get uh, started with the latest software. Boom, and then it will restart. So you, usually that's a, that's a normal thing on a lot of uh, new devices. You wanna update what's called firmware. Uh, they call it software, but this is the software that uh, is going on to the actual device. And you'll probably be prompted just like you will on a lot of different stuff to update the firmware every so often. It's not, not totally often. So now it's going to restart and we are back. Uh, content protection, um, it can play video up to uh, 1080p. So this particular TV is 1080p. If you have something that's higher uh, and available for higher resolution, you'll have different options here. Yes, the screen looks good. TV power and volume can be controlled. Set up for this TV, which is the Samsung brand. Please point. And as you can see, it automatically right now is controlling the volume. Yes. So that one worked. Yes. 
Success, it's now set up to control the TV's power and volume. Remember to point your remote at this TV. Boom, got it. Uh, enter your email address uh, to activate, start streaming. Um, I'm going to cover the screen so you don't see it. When you're activating your device here, um, after it emails you an activation, you want to select what room uh, it's going to, to be in. You want to name the device. You put in the interests that you have. So now we're getting set up. It's adding our channel updates on here. They are going to be giving you some free trials if you wanted to go ahead and do that with a number of things, HBO Max. There's all kinds of stuff that you're going to be getting some offers, just so you're aware uh, after you get signed in, while you're waiting for your existing channels to update on your ultimate Roku Ultra device, uh, you can wait for your channels to be updated and maybe you'll want to add some additional channels. I don't know, some of these are free, a lot of these are just sort of offers, free trials, so you may want to look through those uh, while your uh, Roku is setting up. Okay, it's all done and there we go. Now we have the ultimate setup for your Roku Ultra. I hope this helps you.